Well, hello, y'all. How y'all are today? Well, today is going to be a video that uh, I know that a lot of people is not going to agree with me on. This is a touchy situation. And I used to be on uh, the other side until somebody opened my eyes to something and, and I realized you know, I was wrong, you know, and people know me, know when I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll admit, it. Well, this situation, I think I was wrong, and I think the people that are in the camp of the people I'm about to speak of are wrong. Uh, a little history first, you know, when Christopher Columbus which, you know, the history is, are, is the one that discovered America, which is not true. The American Indians and uh, Orientals was here way before Christopher Columbus ever thought about even coming over here. Uh, they come down from the north and come up through Mexico and uh, this was their land. And I, don't get me wrong, I'm a proud American. I wouldn't want to live in any other place. But I'm not proud of the way that we did things in the past. Uh, we come over here and the American Indians, they... You know, they more or less greeted us, you know, and helped us out, you know, through all them bad times and everything. And they taught us how to uh, grow corn and, and how to self-medicate, you know, for all these diseases and stuff that's going on uh, through the first few years that, that we were here. And uh, <clears throat> so... After that, you know, what we do? Well, uh, we went out and we just, we thanked them by going out and massacring them and stealing their land. Uh, we just decided, well, go west, young man, go west. Okay, yeah, we went west, okay, and if there's any Indians in the way, you know, we just killed them, took their land. They had these buffalo hunters go on trains and stuff and just make buffalo and just leave them laying to rot. And that was the Indians' food. They made shelter with the hides. And... <clears throat> Uh, you know, it was just a sport to us. Go out and kill as many buffaloes as you can, you know, and and starve the Indian, starve the red man out. You know, if, if he won't give us his land, we'll take it. And if there's too many of them, we'll starve them out. We'll kill every damn thing in the, you know. No, people, I'm not proud of the way we we got to where we're at right now. By massacring people, we go into tribes and just kill men, women, and child. Just massacre them all. <clears throat> it's kind of like in the Bible in the old days, you know, in the Old Testament. It's the way God said to do it. Go in and massacre them all. Just kill them all. Don't leave no nobody or nothing living. Just massacre them all. And that's the way we did it. You know, <clears throat> and then once we started building towns and everything, then what we do? Well, we didn't have enough uh, labor, so what we do? We more or less enslaved the the Chinese people and the blacks to build our railroads and and, and build everything else and, and 
we was building big old mansions and shit. And uh, we, we had the black people as our slaves and treating them like dogs. You know, the, the big white master, you know, he'd come down to the his little uh, camp where he, he had his workers. And if there's any good looking black women in there, you know, he'd take them to the side and rape them. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what. But what this all leads to <coughs> is I was on Facebook today and somebody posted something about we cannot, uh, what did it say? We cannot reward illegal aliens with amnesty. Oh, yeah? They better get their ass on a ship and go back to where they came from then. You know, how about they? How, how, how about if these people would do it like we did? Just come in here and uh, swarm into a city and kill everybody and just take the city over? Would you like that? No, it's the way we did it. Well, you know, just like just like Mexico. All the California coast at one time was theirs. We more or less stole it from them, give them, you know, cents on the dollar for, for the, the land. Because, you know, when you get a, a, a country that's so economically poor as what Mexico was, you know, uh, a few cents, you know, would buy them some rice. So, yeah, they, they'd, they'd sell it. You know, but that was their land. We just come in here and more or less stole it from them. So, uh, no, this is, you know, and I used to be in the camp about, oh, yeah, close the borders, close the borders. Don't let them summits come across. But, and I agree, there are some that we need to keep out, like the drug runners. But, hey, they're in, they're in our, our government's back pocket. You know, our government wants them to keep running, you know. As long as the drugs keep running, we've got we've got border guards right now today. They're in jail because they tried to stop drug runners. They shot them or something like that, you know. And and the and the border guards are in the penitentiary and the drug runners keep on running their drugs. These poor people in in Mexico, they're trying to get up here to where they can at least make a decent. Wages, you know, they got to work shit a week for what they can make an hour up here. So hell yeah, who else? Who wouldn't want to come up here and uh, get a piece of the American dream? You know, uh, I watched a documentary the other day about about these illegals coming across, and it showed them on film. You know, about these packs of them coming coming in. They have, uh, I forget what they call it, but they have a route that they go from wherever they start to wherever they end up uh, next to the border where the, the coyotes pick them up. And these coyotes, they're, uh, they're using them for the drug runners. They, they'll take the, the, the drugs and, and, you know, they'll, they'll move these people around and move them around and pay and charge them every time they do. And even when they're broke, ain't got no more money. Then they say, okay, you want to go over to the America? Uh, it cost you so much. Well, I, I ain't got no more money. Okay, well, you take these drugs over and, you know, if you get caught, they'll just send you back. You know, and then you can come back and we'll try to tell you. And the women, they got every place that they stop with these coyotes. You know, they, they got a certain, like a, a bush. It's got panties hanging out of all the women they've raped. And each one of these places they've stopped has got... Uh, 
backpacks and all kinds of stuff that, you know, these people lived in the freaking desert for, for months and months and months trying to get over here, and these damn coyotes are, are just picking them clean, <clears throat> raping the women. And we don't want these people coming over here. What kind of a damn Christian uh, place are, are we in? Huh? Is this the way, the way Christians act? You know, put yourself in their place. Wouldn't you want to come over here? Hell yeah, you would. You wouldn't want to stay in uh, some of them old towns in Mexico where they got to eat out of the slums and everything like that. They ain't got food to eat. They can't grow nothing because they ain't got the, the water for the irrigation and stuff. Filthy circumstances to live in. Shacks with holes in them. They got just old uh, gunny sacks and shit <clears throat> for doors and windows and stuff like that. All you people out there that are, are so hepped on uh, not giving these people amnesty, you ought to carry your ass down to old Mexico and take a look around. I've been there. I know what the situation is like. I've seen the way they live down there. And you tell me that you wouldn't want to come up here? Bullshit. If you say, you know. <clears throat> so, you know, I understand that, uh, this all started when this 9-11 happened. They, they, they did all, started all this bullshit because, oh, well, what, what if Al-Qaeda comes in to, you know, going to come that way. They can jump on and, and, and fly over here and come right through, the, you know. You know, this is just our government. Our government is, is they want to keep everybody's, Focus on securing the borders. It's, you know, keep your focus over there while they do their bullshit over here. Get balls past the, uh, you know, people fighting for the Second Amendment and all this kind of stuff like that. Has it ever occurred to anybody out there that these nimrods are going around holding, holding these AK-47s and and all that walking down the street, you don't think that maybe, just maybe, that they're working for the other side? Has that ever occurred to you? Has me? You know, because they're doing more harm than they are good. So come on, come on, people. We're supposed to be a Christian nation. Let's start acting like it. Let's have a little compassion for uh, <clears throat> for these people wanting to try to better their self. <clears throat> you know, now, like I say, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to have a lot of people give me some flack over this, but I'm, I'm sorry. This is the way I feel, and, and by golly, I'm going to say what, how I feel, because I don't think it's right the way we're doing it. And if any of y'all out there had the slightest bit of Christian compassion, you you wouldn't think it's right either. Well, okay, y'all. I ran and ra raved long enough. I got to get off here. So, all right, y'all. Let y'all leave me some comments. You know, you don't chew my ass out, chew it. You know, but you ain't gonna change my mind. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a good day. God bless. Love y'all. We'll talk to you later.